In this video, we will show you how to place the Herald helmets for both the CPAP and NIV models. Let's start with the positioning of the CPAP helmet. The one-piece helmet proves practical and easy to place and remove. Measure the neck of the patient with a supplied paper measuring tape to select the appropriate size written both on the helmet and the box. Extend the tent and give shape to the helmet. Open the porthole or the zipper, depending on the model. Connect the PEP valve and the ventral antibacterial filter to the outlet connector on the upper side. Set the valve completely open. Connect the ventilation tube to the inlet connector on the lower side. Then open the flow generator so that the air flows to the patient when placed. With the help of another operator, stretch the collar so that the patient's head can fit without hindrance. Release the collar and place it around the neck of the patient if with a silicone collar, or on the upper thorax if with a polyurethane collar. Connect the suspenders with the clips on the rear, then on the front. If using a cushion, inflate it with the provided inflator. Close the porthole or zipper, depending on the model. Check the tightness of the helmet, that is, there are no air leaks around the neck or front access ports. Set the PEP valve to the desired value and adjust the flow generator to obtain the needed fraction of inspired oxygen. Check on the integrated manometer that the nominal pressure remains fairly constant. Now let's move to the positioning of the NIV helmet. The one-piece helmet is practical and easy to place and remove. Measure the neck of the patient with a supplied paper measuring tape to select the appropriate size written both on the helmet and the box. Extend the tent and shape it back into a cylinder. Open the porthole or the zipper, based on the model, set the patient's circuit. It will not be possible to use the helmet with single tube ventilators. Connect the inspiration tube to the inlet connector of the flow. Connect the exhalation tube to the outlet connector of the flow. Otherwise, connect both tubes to the Y circuit to the catheter mount provided with the helmet. Switch on the ventilator. With the help of another operator, stretch the collar so that the patient's head can fit without hindrance. Release the collar and place it around the neck of the patient. Connect the suspenders with the clips on the rear, then on the front. If using a cushion, inflate it with a provided inflator. Close the porthole or zipper, depending on the model. Check the tightness of the helmet, that is, there are no air leaks. Set the parameters on the ventilator. Set the alarms and verify loss compensation. If using a cushion, it is possible to remove the suspenders if needed for patient's comfort.